of Ranked. A game mode I haven't played since Season 4, and a game mode I haven't bothered to complete since Season 2. But with Season 10 and 11 turning into weekend sprints, I figured I'd give this one a go. But not before consulting with my doctor first to make sure that my heart is healthy enough. So after old Doc Brown put me on the treadmill for 30 minutes and gave me the all clear and upping my scotch prescription, which I may have abused a little last night and you can probably hear the hangover, I gave it a go. And I ranked out in about 20 matches, which isn't too bad. Now the more astute of you have probably noticed that in this particular match you're watching that I am on another platform and I'm using my Xbox account, TimeyBoy601. Did I never mention that I have an Xbox account and go by TommyBoy601 over there? Well, you got me. This is indeed a collaboration. You know the thing I do every February 31st. Old Tommy Boy reached out to me to see if I'd do a video swap, and I'm always happy to oblige the little guy just trying to make it in the world of YouTube. What's that? He has how many? 10,000? What? Uh, okay, well, well, folks, if you have somehow not seen his channel, I will link to it in the description below. And if you haven't had a look, there are a whole boatload of videos there doing in-depth reviews of ships, and gameplay guides, and tons of analysis. Basically, it's everything I don't do. <laughs> so, a valuable resource and definitely worth your time to check out if you value actual information. He also has a rank game of mine in the Giulio Cesare where I pretty much just wreck the entire team. So after this, go check it out. But let's look at this game. Tommy Boy has opted to use the Emil, the tier four French cruiser, and here's his commander setup. And this is a pretty good cruiser choice in my opinion, thin enough that most battleship rounds will pass right through you, fast, very good guns, and the often overlooked French AP of which you will see Tommy Boy make excellent use of racking up citadel shot after citadel shot, thanks in large part to the red team offering up their broadsides in what could be described as a comical fashion. These are the ranked matches I wish they could all be. The red team refuses to push in, giving up the center cap with no objection, and then just sailing in one by one to be removed. And I will mention that while it only took one match to transform me from mild-mannered Gen Xer to the Tasmanian Devil spouting curses at my entire team, at least the whole event was short, which made it very doable, and without splitting the player base, everyone who participated could definitely rank out. Frustrating as that could make some matches, it was only about every five matches that my watch informed me that I needed to breathe and calm down. <laughs> but rank out I did, and rank out I think most who participated did, not that we'll probably ever see the stats, but there's some steel for you for showing your dedication. Unlike the complete ridiculous nature of the 1% in arena, so you know, only two more years for you to get that mighty mo. Tommy Boy's sitting at, uh, what, six Citadel shots right now after sinking that Furutaka? And this Konigsberg, their number must have just been called at the B cap because they're going to waltz in doing their best, as flat broadside as possible. Um, but not wanting to pick favorites, having given Tommy Boy the better chance of three full salos <laughs> at his broadside. They're going to turn south and give broadside to Tommy Boy's teammates, which, while generous, will not win you any games, especially on this map, where if you give up that east side for a crossfire, well, you're going to lose more than you're going to win. And there goes that Konigsberg. But, again, not one to be outdone. We have our next contestant. Come on down, Hawkins. Sail flat broadside. And there's a Citadel. I think there's probably going to be a few more if I were a betting man. As you know, those uh, Brits have high, <laughs> high sitting Citadels. Oh, wow. Three right there. I'd be feeling pretty confident at this point. Has their, has their destroyer even been spotted? Oh, <laughs> there he is. Just making himself known right when the match is almost over. So how'd you all like this season of Ranked? Let me know down below. 
I mean, we have another weekend of it coming uh, this weekend, I believe, with Tier 5 ships, which... Why can't we do Tier 6 or 7 already? I mean, so much Tier 5. We just had this going on for Arena for... Wasn't that like two weeks? Three weeks? And we're going to be seeing fleets of Californias and Fabukis, probably some Bajonis as well. I'll probably be using the Murder Machine Molotov or maybe London. I guess there are some interesting options, but why are we so afraid of variety? <sighs> Didn't I just do a video where I was talking about being full health when your team is about to lose? I know somebody who didn't watch it. The disappearance of this Koenig's health is like a David Copperfield level of magic. Tommy Boy gets his torps out and does the old tactical beaching to get them out from the other side. And look, full health, full health. And now they're going to disappear like the Statue of Liberty for a few moments. And when we see them again, all health is gone. So look, still full health. And reappear. And it's gone. I mean, okay, it clearly took those torpedoes, but, but still, that's why you can't just hide behind islands the whole time. But uh, if I had been on the red team, my watch would have been dialing 911 right now as my blood pressure would have been through the roof. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Nice and short. I wish they were all like this. So that's about it for this video. If you would like to see more of his gameplay and commentary again, Check out Tommy Boy 601's channel. I have linked it down below, and you can watch my game that he has and subscribe if it floats your boat. Fat guy in a little coat. All right, y'all. Questions, comments, ranked strategies for the coming sprint, leave them down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed seeing another collaboration. Give it a dislike if you'd prefer I post an hour long video of television static with ads running throughout to help pay for the new hardware ordered for streaming. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next collaboration I will probably do in four months. I'm going to take some Advil and put away the groceries that have been sitting in my living room since this morning. I've got a damage record game I want to show you all too. Not that I expect that record to last more than a few days, but to do that, I must get some rest. Then I can go back out there for another one and we will talk soon.